Welcome to New Guitar Tutorial and today we have a look at Stealin by Uriah Heep. This was a request after I did a tutorial on EC11 and in this lesson we have a look at the rhythm guitar part and a lesson for the guitar solo will follow soon. If you're interested in sheet music of the song I will upload a lead sheet on my Patreon page. The link is down in the description. The song is in the key of D and the rhythm guitar part isn't too hard to play. The song starts with bass and organ only, then the vocals enter for the first two verses and the first pre-chorus section. And after the first pre-chorus, there's a, an interlude and this interlude, the guitar enters and we're playing a shuffle groove. <laughs> We're starting on the D power chord, 5th fret of the A string and the 7th fret of the D and the G string. Playing an 8 note shuffle for 2 bars, then we're going 2 frets down to a C power chord for 2 beats and then to a G major chord or G power chord. Back to the D power chord. So we have 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. This part is played two times as an interlude and another two times during the next verse part. And then there's another pre chorus section, and the pre chorus section is one, one bar of G. G power chord or this G part major chord. One and two and three and four and and then we're going two frets down on F power chord or F major chord for three bars. And then we're going back up to the to the G chord for one bar. Back to the F and in the second bar of the F chord we have a stop on beat number four one and two and three and four and we stay on this F chord for another bar so the complete pre-chorus section one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four After this part there's a four bar rest for the for the guitar and after this four bar rest there's a guitar solo which I'll show you in one of the next tutorials. After the guitar solo there's another verse part and after this verse there's a section which we can call the chorus. It starts once again on, on the D chord for one bar. The section is repeated over and over again and the song ends with a D chord for one bar, 
C chord, B, same voicing, another two frets lower, to going to an A flat, power chord, or barred chord, and then we end on, on a D power chord. This was the rhythm guitar part for Steel and by Uriah Heap. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please hit subscribe if you haven't and ring the bell. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.